Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year 2019. What are we going to be doing this year? Lots of cool stuff. You're watching Danski, the place to be, of course, to develop your creative skills. And in this video, the first one of 2019, we're going to learn how to create a floral flower-like geometric kind of pattern logo shape thing, all in Adobe Illustrator. So first tutorial of the year, let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and you can see I've created a new document, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the toolbar on the left and just left click and hold and grab the ellipse tool and just left click and drag to draw an ellipse. Now by default we have a white fill and a black stroke. So let's select the stroke and we'll set that to none. And if we select the fill, we can then go over to the swatches panel. And if you don't see this, just go to window and down to swatches. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to close down the color panel because we don't need that just yet. Just double click any swatch. It doesn't matter which one it is for now. The important thing is that you check this box here, global. And what this does is if we update the swatch at any point later on, it will update every instance of that color instantly. I'll show you later on in the tutorial. It's awesome and I definitely recommend it. So we've got a global swatch there. Click OK. And we'll actually do that with another one as well. So we're going to have two different swatches. So just remember, double click the swatch, check global, click OK. So at the moment we have an ellipse with a solid color. And let's just switch back to the properties panel here. And what I'm going to do is grab the gradient tool and just click on this shape. And you can see it adds the default black to white gradient. We're going from left to right, which is fantastic. We can of course move this around and you can use the gradient tool to adjust lots of different things. We're going to keep this going from left to right, which is absolutely fine. And you can see I've selected this swatch here. And if I go to the swatches panel with that swatch selected or with that point here selected, I should say, we can then add that color to that point. Similarly, I can select the black at the right end and I can add the other color. So there we go. We've created a very simple linear gradient from left to right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate and make duplicates of this shape. So I'm going to set the opacity to 30% and you can do that from the property inspector here. Or if you're on an older version of Illustrator, just go to Window and down to Transparency and it brings up this panel here and you can adjust the opacity there. So we'll drop that down to 30% and press Return. And you can see what that did there is it actually reduced the opacity of just one swatch. So this one over here is still 100%. That's not quite what we want. So if you want to, you can adjust the opacity of each swatch individually. Or what you can do, if I just go back a step, is with the main selection tool, just select the entire shape and then drop the opacity on the shape as a whole and it will reduce it across the board. So what we can do now is select the ellipse and go to edit, copy, and then edit again and paste in place. And just hover over one of the corners until you see the rotate icon, start rotating, and then if you hold shift on the keyboard, it will snap that to increments of 45 degrees. There we go. And you can see why we have the opacity now is we can see that these shapes blend together beautifully. If you don't add the opacity, these will just be solid shapes stacking on top of each other and it won't look quite right. So what we're going to do now is drag over everything. And first of all, I'm actually going to recenter this because it's going to annoy me if I don't. So there we go. Recenter. Okay. Attention to detail. We're all good. So with these selected, I'm then going to go up to edit down to copy, edit and paste in place. And we're going to repeat this again. So hover over the corner until you see the rotate icon, start rotating and then hold down shift and it will snap that to a 45 degree angle. And there we go. So we've created a really pretty geometric flower shape pretty easily as well. And we could grab this now and go to object and down to group. So now rather than have lots of individual shapes, we can move this around as one object and we could rotate this as well. If we wanted to rotate that gradient round, I think I'll leave it like this. That's fine. That's good. So I could select this and what I'll do is I'll hold shift 
and scale up. And if we hold down Alt on the keyboard as well, it will scale from the center. So we'll just scale this up a little bit like so. And then I think I'll go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place. And then again, hold Shift and Alt and scale down and add a little flower in the middle. Now we're gonna come back to the global swatches. So if we go back to the swatches panel, we just created two swatches at the beginning. We didn't pay too much attention to the color, but this is the cool part. So if we double click on the lighter blue first and check preview, we can now adjust this and it will change that swatch in real time. So I'm gonna go for a really kind of bright cyan there, lovely, lovely. And I'll double click on the darker blue and I think I'm gonna go a bit more pinky purple, something like this. So you can really see in real time what's working and what's not. You can make those adjustments. And if you wanted to get even more creative, what you could do is you could go and create two more swatches and then make the colors on the flower in the middle different. So you get maximum control over everything. So that's one way we can do it. Something else that we can also do is we could just move this out the way to one side. We'll just We'll throw that over there. There we go, that's all fine. Grab the ellipse tool again. This time left click and hold shift. Holding shift will create a perfect circle. And what we're going to do is just fill this with white. And we now have the geometric flower shape and the circle and we can drag over both of these and from the properties panel, we can align them both to one another just so we know that that circle is right in the center. And what I'm going to do is just hold Alt and Shift, scale that up ever so slightly. And maybe bring it down just a pinch. And if you do find it snapping, not quite where you'd like, just go up to View and down to Snap to Pixel. I like to turn this off so it doesn't try and snap to the point and the pixel. Just pick one or the other. And we'll just zoom in a bit more. So if it's not quite snapping where you like, just zoom in a little bit more, so there we go, that looks good to me. And what I can do now is I can drag over everything, and then with the Shape Builder tool on the left, I can hold down Alt on the keyboard, you can see it changes to a little minus sign, and then I can left click and drag through all of these white areas, and it will knock that out of the design. And we're left with something like this. And we could go and select this, for example, go to Edit, Copy, Edit, paste in place, rotate it again. Now I'm not gonna hold shift. I'm gonna do this freehand, something like this, and we'll let go. And there we go. We end up with some kind of creative pattern like this, and we can go back to the swatches panel, change those colors, we get maximum control. And that's just one example showing some of the things that you can create using basic shapes, gradients, adjusting opacity, and all that good stuff. And there we go, first tutorial of the year. Hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions or comments, please do drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Oh, that was a, that was a nice snap, boom. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.